Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. In today's session, I will be covering the development of tooth which I have divided into the basics and the stages. And I promise, if you understand the basics once, the stages will be extremely easy to grasp. Now if you can recollect from my previous video, the diagram on the screen represents the cephalic portion of the fetus when viewed from the side. The pit that can be appreciated here is the stomodium, our primitive oral cavity, which in turn is lined by stratified squamous epithelium called the primitive oral epithelium or the oral ectoderm. This oral ectoderm along with the endoderm of foregut constitute the buccopharyngeal membrane, which ruptures at around 27th day of gestation such that a connection between the stomodium and the foregut is established. Now let's have a closer look at the oral ectoderm, which appears something like this. The connective tissue cells underlying this ectoderm are derived from the neural crest cells and are ectomesenchymal in origin. So basically, the development of tooth is an interaction between these two layers. Around 2 to 3 weeks after the rupture of the buccopharyngeal membrane, or when the embryo is around 6 weeks old, certain basal cells of the oral ectoderm proliferate more rapidly to form a primary epithelial band, which is actually the epithelium which has invaded the underlying tissues. And this forms two R-shaped structures corresponding to the upper and lower arches. Around 7th week, this band further divides into an inner or lingual process called the dental lamina and an outer or buccal process called the vestibular lamina. The vestibular lamina, also termed the lip furrow band, subsequently hollows and forms the oral vestibule, while the dental lamina serves as the primordium for the ectodermal portion of the teeth. This lamina gives a distal extension for the development of permanent molars and a lingual extension for the development of the successor teeth. Thus, this portion is also called the successional lamina. Dental lamina as such functions for a relatively short period since the beginning of the initiation of the tooth development. And because the development of third molars is initiated around 4 to 5 years, the activity of dental lamina extends over a period of at least 5 years. The remnants of dental lamina which remain persist as epithelial pearls in the jaws or the gingiva and are referred to as the rest of serrae. Now certain points or placodes develop in the dental lamina, 10 in each arch corresponding to the deciduous teeth. In such areas, the ectodermal cells multiply more rapidly to form little knobs or placodes that grow into the underlying mesenchyme. Let us call these knobs the enamel organ. As the cell proliferation continues at differential rates, the enamel organ increases in size, sinks deeper into the ectomesenchyme and changes its shape from bud to cap and finally assuming a shape resembling a bell. On the inside of the depression of enamel organ, the ectomesenchymal cells increase in number and become dense. This represents our dental papilla. Now surrounding the combined enamel organ and the dental papilla, the third part of the tooth bud forms. This is the dental sac or the follicle which consists of the ectomesenchymal cells along with some fibers. And therefore, the tooth germ consists of an ectodermal component and an ectomesenchymal component. The ectodermal component consists of the enamel organ which forms the enamel while the ectomesenchymal component consists of the dental papilla and the dental follicle. The dental papilla forms the dentin and the pulp while the dental follicle forms the cementum, periodontal ligament and the alveolar bone. Thus basically the development of tooth results from the interaction of epithelium 
derived from the first arch and the ectomesenchymal cells derived from the neural crest cells. Although a continuous process, the development of tooth has been divided into three stages based on the morphology of the enamel organ for descriptive purposes, which I will be discussing in my upcoming video. If you like this session, make sure to like, share and subscribe.